no long intros instagram and email for music videos and have me make your videos and whatnot um and website down below for my editing pack and presets yeah so let's start th with the easy one first i'm gonna be transitioning from this clip into this clip and then i'm gonna do the same thing they did where i'm gonna mask this out and create like a little box type deal i'm gonna go to this frame and i'm gonna click on this little export frame button here and then right here where this window pops up on this import into project make sure that's selected click ok and then it'll put it into your project now you just want to drag that onto your cursor without moving your cursor and then it'll pop up right here so if we look at the video this is what we have okay so now we need to make a mask so i'm gonna make sure my picture is selected right here click effect controls uh make sure opacity is open and then you can do the square but i'm just gonna draw this in so it's about right here And then now there would be a mask. If I move over two frames, uh, it'll be like that. So I'm gonna click invert. And then since this is a picture, we don't really have to keyframe anything because it will stay still. But what I like to do is I like to at least make it visible. So he's in there. So what we can do now is let's say you want this as your step and you're not gonna zoom in yet. You want the video to play in here. You can go to the scale on the bottom clip right here and then just drag this or make this small and then move it about right here. I would change the rotation a little bit. Sorry if I'm going too fast. And then now he's playing the, like a whole video. He's playing like the whole video in his in his box. And then now now that we want to zoom it in, um, let's say I just start right here. I'm just going to make a cut or yeah, I'm going to cut the clip right here just because it's easier for me. And I'm going to end it to where my video ends. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the second clip, the one I'm going to zoom in. Click on scale and click on position to keyframe those. Maybe even rotation if you want to do that. And then I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to scale this up all the way. And then move the position so it's in the briefcase. So now if you look at it, video, briefcase. But now we have this problem where this video we already scaled down, um, there's all this blackness. So what we can do to fix that is I'm going to make a cut where my other cut is to make two separate videos. Click on the second video. I'm going to do the same thing, keyframe position, keyframe scale, keyframe rotation. Since this one I do have a rotation on, on so I would need to fix it. Go to the end and right about here is where we see the last bit of black. And then I'm just going to reset this, and this will make it 100. This will move it to where it was originally, and then I'm going to click the reset button on the rotation, and that'll move it here. So now if you look at it, we'll have this kind of cool effect. Well, I actually like this. I think it's even cooler. But um, you still see some black, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fasten this up. So instead of ending right here, I'm going to make, I'm going to move the keyframes up a little bit just so it finishes before. So now if you look at it, it looks almost there. We just need to move it up a little bit faster. So I'm gonna finish this up before, like that. And then we just have some t minor tweaking right here. I'm going to move the position to the right right here just so there's no black edges. And then now we'll have this zoom in. and we'll have this video of him and you can see actually see everything without it just being cut out. So this is an extra tip right here. Let's say you don't want it to be super harsh and just kind of cut right here out of nowhere. You kind of want to fade it in. Uh, to easily fix that, you just want to grab your picture right here, your still frame, hold alt, drag it. Here, let me scroll this down. Hold on, let me, sorry about that. Okay. Here, you're gonna to want to hold alt, drag this down, and then you'll have a duplicate of your picture. And then we're, you're gonna to wanna to move this back to wherever you want it to start. So now we'll have this, right? You need to click on the bottom picture that you have and then take off the mask. So I'm just gonna delete that. And then we'll have that, right? And then all you need to do is go to the clip. So this clip right here, make sure this little red thing comes up, double click that, and then just click this and then this will cross dissolve all the way here, but we don't want that, we don't want it to be just really fast, so we'll go here, and then it will dissolve, it'll fade in into the video, which is 
kind of like a simpler look as in like I think it looks better than just like a super harsh cut so this clip into this clip and then we're gonna come out the box again it's pretty much the same thing except there's a little bit two differences so I'm gonna want it to I want the clip to start right here so I'm just gonna do this now I'm going I'm gonna go to the beginning of this again and then click this little export frame button click that click import to project make sure that's checked click OK go to your project should be right here and then I'm just gonna drag this on top of my clips now I like to do five frames five to ten frames that's usually like the you know standard of what everyone does but you know creativity doesn't hold you back so I'm gonna go to where my hard cut is right here I'm gonna go let's say seven frames back one two three four five six seven that's where I want to end it so I'm gonna drag over drag over my picture right here and then just make it that long so now we have picture of that so now what we do is we need to do the same thing just make a mask on the little box we made and click invert again and then we'll have the same thing now what we need to do is just keyframe the scale position and rotation and just do the same thing we're going to scale it up at the beginning and then now at the end we're going to unscale it or we go back to normal and then it'll go back to normal into this other clip okay so this is something a little extra i'm throwing in there it says sky transition type thing it's the same concept it's still like a zoom in transition but he turned into the sky if that makes sense i did it once before but uh i'm just going to show you guys how to do it same same process it's just one extra step so first we need to do is we need to put our clip underneath here so i have this hard cut right and this clip but i want the clip to play in the sky first before i zoom it in so i need to put this clip underneath here let's say right about here i want the clip to start playing right here and then now what we need we need to do is click on the top clip go to the effects and look up color key now it's really nice if you have a nice video like this and then nice blue where there's nothing like anything else blue if that makes sense like any other like colors there's a nice contrast right here so it really looks nice get the color key drag it onto your top clip which is this sky clip effect controls and then get this little eyedropper tool and then just press the blue and then you're gonna want to do this a little bit I'm gonna bring this tolerance up now and then now if you look at it we'll have this and then he plays into it now it kind of faded in into this clip um, what you can do is you can keyframe the tolerance so if I bring this tolerance all the way down and I keyframe it and then I bring it all the way up to when, when my clip hits right here to 44 so we'll have this right here and I'll bring this back which is that's cool too but it was, he did more of a fade type deal so what he did was he just he pressed all okay he copied this top clip move this underneath here there we go so we will have two copies of the same clip right here and then we'll have our middle clip right here and then just click on this bottom clip and then take off this color key and so now we have here we'll have that and then to do the fade I'm just gonna make sure this is red right here and go to the end of this Okay, let me zoom in so you guys can see and then double click that click on this cross dissolve bring this out a little bit and so now we'll have a fade in like that but make sure this is long enough fade in like that play and then now what we need to do just to finish this off is we need to zoom this in so right when this clip ends that's where I want the zoom in to be like I said before, 5 to 10 frames is the magic number. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Click on the top clip. Um, click on keyframe the scale, click keyframe the position, keyframe the rotation. And then I'm going to go to the end. And I'm going to increase the scale. I can't see anything, so I'm going to go one frame more. I'm going to increase the scale. I'm going to move the position to the right. And then I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, just you know, just because. So now we have you know like a a building rotating flying away to this one and a fade in pretty much what we do now is we have this hard cut right here right um, we need to go to the end of this clip we need to go up here make sure it's on best full click this little save snapshot file it'll save it to your folder and then this image will pop up right here in your project media you should want to drag that down to here and then put it at the end of the clip so now we'll have 
here. All right, so now what we want to do now, now what you want to do now, now you want to do is create a mask on this. So I'm just going to cut this down so we can see everything. And then at the end right here, we're going to create this pattern crop tool. We're going to go to the beginning of this, click on mask, check that. I'm going to zoom in right here so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm just going to make a mask, a square mask right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to click on right here in mode, click negative. And then we'll have a negative mask. I'm going to put this right here. And then we'll have the video playing underneath it. Um, let me go draft auto so we can see what we're doing. Uh, shift B. Right, and then the uh, video plays. Now we can't really see anything in the video. So to fix that is we're going to have to fix the pen and crop. Um, we're going to have to fix the settings for it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the beginning of the bottom clip. Click on this pen and crop. And then we're just going to zoom this out a little bit. Let me go one frame forward so I can see it in the picture better. So I'm going to zoom this out a little bit. I'm going to rotate it slightly. And I'm going to move it. to about right there so we can see what's actually going on in the video okay and then now if we look at the video we can see what's going on in the video now what we want to do now is we want to do the zoom in effect which I'll start it after it plays a little bit I'll start it right here in the middle what I like to do is you don't have to do it but I like to split the clip at the top and then it'll kind of reset everything go back to the pen and crop click on position and then now what we want to do is we want to zoom in into the briefcase. So we'll start right here. We'll have the position regular because that's where I was going to start. And at the end of the clip right here, we're just going to zoom in into the briefcase all the way. So there's nothing you can see and it goes all black. So if we look at it, and this is fine right here because it's expected to go all the way through like that. So now if you look at it, it'll do that. Now we have a problem here since we changed the pen and crop here so we can look at the video inside the briefcase it changed in here as well so we need to change that. Now we can do the same thing I like to do is I just split the clip and then it kind of refreshes everything. It, not re it doesn't really refresh everything it does it in my mind but now I'm gonna go to the pen and crop in the bottom clip and then now we still want it to zoom in so I'm gonna keep it the same keyframe at the beginning and then just when it zooms in I'm just going to reset it, so I'm just going to go up here and click default, because that's what it was. And so if you look at it, it'll go back to default to what it was. It looks better than it was, but still not perfect. There's still a little bit black, and we just need to make, it, make a few adjustments. So right here was the most black. I'm just going to change this up by, move, actually here, I'm just going to zoom in here a tiny bit. So there's no black and then I'm gonna change this rotation okay and then I'm gonna change that a little bit and move that so we can see what we're doing all right so now there's no black there's actually a little bit so I'm just gonna keep it zoomed in right there now there's no black so now if you look at it then we have no black during the whole video and then at the end we'll have default and we'll go back to original all right um, another tip, an extra bonus tip for you, let's say you don't like this harsh, just like transition right here, you can kind of fade this mask in. Um, there's like two ways to do it. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to just copy this top image, the mask, the one that has the mask, and I like to drag it underneath both images. Here, let me make a new video track, just move that right there. And then I'm just going to copy this and drag this underneath by holding control. Now I'm going to go to the bottom video track, go to the pan and crop, and then I'm just going to uncheck the mask, okay, and then now I'm just going to make a fade in transition through here, so now if you look at it, the video actually fades in instead of, that, instead of it actually being, you know, super harsh. Alright, let's move on to the second transition, which is it, which is the same one, but reverse. So here's the second transition clip. It's the same clips, um, same concept except reverse. So like I said, 
I didn't say it, but in the second clip, the clip you're trying to transition to, make sure there's something you can transition into, like say this briefcase like we used before, we can obviously make a shape into it and you know, zoom out of it. Um, I know some people like to do the mouth, I've seen that before, I've seen eyes, I've done that before, I've seen whole bodies, this is pretty much like a, like a pop-up cutout transition, just um, in a different way. Alright, so let's do it, so go to the first frame of this clip, click on best full up here, save the picture, okay, it'll pop up right here, now I'm just going to drag this onto my clip, or onto both of these clips, and I'm just going to cut it where the clips meet. Now, like I always say, it's for these transitions, the golden rule is like 5 to 10 frames, um, but don't let that stop you, you know, do whatever you want, so I'm just going to go 10 frames to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I'm going to end it right here, and then I'm going to do my magic. So, what we need to do now is we need to click, get this top frame right here, pan and crop, check on mask, zoom in, and then I'm going to make the same transition. Now, it's the same thing for like eye transitions and whatnot, um, it's just you're just going to do a different mask. Now, what we want to do is we want to go back to position after we made this mask right here, and then we're going to want to zoom in onto the briefcase. Alright, make this zoom in all the way, or maybe almost all the way. Let me take a look, good look at this. That's good right there since it's the first frame. Um, we don't really need it, but if you want, you know, you can get all the way down here, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to the end of this, and then I'm just going to go back to default by clicking this in default. So now if you look at it, it transitions out into the briefcase we had. An another cool thing you can do is, I just thought about this, you can have the video continue to play while this goes, and then it just transitions into the thing. So if you do this, and then it plays and it for a little bit, and then and then it goes to regular, you can have it fade out as well. It's pretty much the same thing as the beginning, except the uh, backwards. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, let me enter a new video track. Do this, and then let me see how cool this looks. So if you do this, do this, fades out into the next clip. That's pretty sick. Like always, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Like and comment and subscribe. I got a lot of videos I'm making today, so you know, hopefully you'll see a new one next time. Uh, check out my playlist and subscribe and whatnot. Thanks. Yeah, follow my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. Follow me.